All right, Shalom Amaki I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and Ba'ashim, Makakwadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles at Great Mill, so on taught me this word. Wa Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, you know, back at it with another lesson. Give me a to be saved. Come in the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makakwadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so as you brothers can see, um, the title of this lesson, um, I don't really have a title yet, but it's going to be dealing with um, John the Baptist. You know, was he a prophet? Um, was he a man of the Lord? You know, because that's the, you know, that's the, um, the, the, the hot topic or the topic, you know what I'm saying, uh, this week and the past couple weeks with these guys in the ISUPK, um, which they're under a, a 501c3 charter, man, you know, which is basically it's a... Um, it's a tax exempt uh, type of thing, man. All right, to where they can't um, teach the whole doctrine. They can't teach the truth. You know what I'm saying? And um, one of the brothers, the elders in the camp, uh, the brother uh, Barack, he did a video on that. It's a good video, and brothers should check it out. Um, the brother channel was called uh, GMS Emperor Thoughts 12. You know. Um, so yeah, check that video out just to get more information on that. Okay, but, you know, just dealing with uh, John the Baptist. Was was he a prophet? Okay, the scriptures go into it, man. All right? So, uh, you know, Lord, Lord willing, I'm going to go through some scriptures and uh, uh, may edify the body of Yahweh Shah, man. All right? Because that's who we do these videos for, man. All right, the elect. All right? Because everybody else, they're not going to get it. You know, these other Israelite groups. Okay? They're... they're uh, they err not knowing the scriptures. You know, let's just say it like that. Okay. So with that being said, let's start. Um, let's start with the uh, with the Bible study tool, right? So it says uh, John the Baptist. So this is from BibleStudyTools.com, and I typed in uh, John the Baptist. Okay. It says um, John the Baptist. Apart from Yahweh Shai, it says Jesus Christ, but we know. His true name, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, that's another thing them guys don't do. They don't, they don't come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. They come in the spirit of Christ, you know, Jesus the Christ. That's why when you hear them speak, they always talk about Christ, Jesus Christ. That's another uh, God, man. you know. Who is that God? You know, we believe in Yahweh Shai, okay. So apart from Yahweh Shai. John the Baptist is probably the most theologically significant figure in the Gospels, as the case, as was the case with uh, Yahweh Shai. His birth meticulously recorded, Luke 1, 5-25. His entrance into the world was marked by an angelic uh, proclamation and divine intervention. So let's let's check out um, that one right there. Because it even goes into when John was born, it wasn't just on no normal shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like if we're using, uh, you know, that language. You know what I'm saying? But it just wasn't no no normal thing. You know what I'm saying? When John was born, an angel actually came to his father, okay, and told him to give him that name. You know what I'm saying? Because his father wanted to name him something else. You know, let's let's go into that, man, because that's that's very significant, man. You know what I'm saying? That that lets you know that John just wasn't no regular man, you know? So let's go to um, Luke chapter 1, verse 57. So this is Luke 1 and 57. It says, Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. Now Elizabeth is um, John the Baptist's mother, okay? And it uh, reads, so she was, uh, so her time came, you know what I'm saying? Her nine months um, came where she was going to be delivered, you know, uh, her son, which was John the Baptist. Okay. Verse 58. And the neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day, they, they came to circumcise the child and they called him Zacharias after the name of his father right so that was the custom of uh you know that's part of the law okay uh, a part of the law is um you circumcise a male child on the eighth day okay and um so like like i was uh saying before 
they were going to call him Zacharias, okay, because that was his father's name, all right? And his mother answered and said, not so, but he shall be called, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, there is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they, so that, so he was, there was nobody in the, uh, in their family called by John, you know? And they made signs to his father, signs to his father how he would have, have him called. And he answered for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John, and they marveled all. You know what? I'm sorry, brothers. We got to read Luke 1, 5 through 25 first, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to get some understanding on that. Because the angel actually came and told, and told, um, who was it, Mary? I think it was Mary. Or did it come to John? Well, let's just, uh, let's, let's read it. Man. Okay. So this is Luke 1 and 5. Uh, through 25 man, I'm gonna I'm try to read through it fast there was in the days of Herod the king of Judea a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia and his wife was the daughter of Aaron who and her name was Elizabeth so Zacharias this was the father of um, John the Baptist right and they were born and they were both righteous before the heavenly father walking in all the commandments of the Lord and ordinances of the Lord and blameless. So he was a righteous man, you know? And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. Barren means that she couldn't um, she couldn't conceive. You know, with certain women like that today. You know what I'm saying? The Lord just don't open their womb for whatever reason. There's nothing technically wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? They just they can't conceive. You know, and this was Elizabeth's case. The same thing with uh Samuel's mother Hannah you know she was she was uh, barren as well you know what I'm saying but you know she called upon the Lord and the Lord gave her a child you know same thing here so it, it says uh, Elizabeth was barren and they both were now stricken in years so they were they were getting up in age man. and it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before the Most High in the order of his course according to the custom of the priest's office his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the lord and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of the incense and there appeared unto him an angel of the lord standing on the right side of the altar of the incense and when Zacharias saw him he was troubled and fear fell upon him right so you had uh, Zacharias, all right, his job was to burn incense over the altar, right? And you had uh, an angel come and, come and visit him, man, all right? An angel, let me read that uh, part again, verse 11. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense, you know? So an angel appeared unto Zacharias, John the Baptist's father, okay? You know, this ain't no, this ain't no regular man. You know what I mean? So we're going to see what the angel is going to say. And um, so Zacharias saw him. He was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife, Elizabeth, shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. You see? So it was an angel of the Lord. Okay. That actually came to Zachariah, Zacharias, you know, and told him, look, you're going to have a son, you know. So this, so John the Baptist wasn't on no regular type thing, man. You know what I mean? He was a man of the Lord ordained by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, to be the forerunner, all right, of Yahweh Shai, okay. We're going to get into that, man. So that, that just goes to show you right there, man. Just look just look at his birth, you know? And all this is mentioned in the scriptures. If John the Baptist wasn't in the truth, if he was just a two-third, he was just doing his own thing, why would this be mentioned here, man? All right? This just goes to show you that John was a special man, okay? He was special. An angel came to his father and told him, you're going to name your son John, you know? Fear not. 
your wife, even though y'all old, you know what I'm saying? Even though y'all stricken in y'all years, she gonna bear a son, okay? And you gonna call his name John, okay? That's 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 heavy, man, you know? Because you, you think back into the story of um of uh Abraham, okay? It's it's you know, it sounds similar, right? Because Abraham uh and Sarah, okay? Abraham and Sarah, they were old as well. They were stricken in years as well, okay? And then the angel of the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai, came, all right, unto Abraham, all right, and two other angels with him, and told him that he was going to have a son, all right? And you're going to call his name Isaac. And that's when Sarah laughed, saying, shall I, you know, shall I uh, bear children being stricken in years? You know what I'm saying? You know? Just, you know, roughly paraphrasing in the story, but brothers know what I'm saying. Okay, if you if you know about that story. Okay. But, you know, that, that goes that, that just goes to show you, man, that the angel of the Lord came and visited, all right, John the Baptist's parents. Okay? So yes, he definitely was a prophet, man. But let's keep going. It says, For thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth uh shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. All right? For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Man, you see that? <laughs> he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, man. You see? So what John did when he was on the earth, um, you know what I'm saying? All right? At that time, you know what I'm saying? He It pleased the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the angel speaking here. It says, For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall neither drink wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit and from his mother's womb, you see? So the Lord put the Spirit on him, okay? To, to have that zeal to him, man, okay? And and yes, he knew about Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And he knew how uh, Yahweh Shai had to come, you know what I'm saying, and be that light unto everyone, you know what I'm saying? Not to everyone, Slakia, unto, unto uh, the elect, you know, because everyone can get this. All right. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their power. You see, you know, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. Man. <laughs> man. Woo, man, that's crucial, man. That's crucial. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. That goes to show you right there that he was Elijah. Okay. You, I got the new uh, the uh, NLT version, all right, right next to it. Uh, let me read that. It says, he will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah, you know? Man. To turn the hearts of the, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom, it's like, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. You know, and Zacharias said unto the angel, going back to John the Baptist's father, and Zacharias said unto the angel, whereby shall I know this? For I'm an old man and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answered, answering said unto him, I am Gabriel. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. That's right, man. So this is Gabriel. Okay. The angel Gabriel visited John the Baptist's father. Okay. That is not no regular thing, you know? He was not uh, no regular man, okay? He was a prophet, man, all right? And the Lord sent him, okay? So you got guys out there who are not knowing the scriptures, man, saying John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. You know, they, 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 they either paid off or they don't know the scripts, man. You know, so but, but let's keep going. It says, um, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of Yahweh and is sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glass tidings. You see, so Gabriel was sent to tell uh, John the Baptist's father that. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not be able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. So the angel. Angel shut his mouth up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you don't believe what I'm telling you this day? Okay. 
until these things happen, I'm a, I'm a clutch. I'm gonna close your mouth up, man. You know, and you you gonna be dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna base, basic basically like a this mute. Song is appropriate. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like is, he still had all his right senses. Now. You know that what I'm saying? But he up. shall be like a mute, man. You know? Un until uh, John, the John the Baptist will be born. You know okay? Along. And the people waited hot. for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had he had hey, seen a vision in the temple. Exactly where he Can beckoned unto go? them and remained speechless. You, you know? Um... So hard to be doing what you really It's like your brother. So um just going back, it says uh and it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself, saying, Thus saith the Lord, thus, sa thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. You know? And so, so, uh, Elizabeth, she knew the deal too. You know? Because, um, John, uh, John, well, John, he couldn't speak, so, but she knew that she conceived okay all right and when you go go down it uh tells you that the angel gabriel was sent okay and she's gonna have a a, a son all right so just jumping back down though let's jump back down to verse uh 57 okay okay so now you know the now you know the backdrop Okay, the angel of the Lord, our Gabriel, came to uh, came to John the Baptist's father. Okay, and told him that he was gonna name him John. Okay, and he shall do what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. He shall do great things in the sight of the Lord. Okay, it's not no regular man. Okay, and not no two third man. All right, the Lord wouldn't do that for no for no uh, regular man. Okay. That sounds like a prophet to me. All right. Now, um, so I'm going to go back, jump down to 57. It's not, it's now that we have some understanding. So it says, now Elizabeth full time came that she should be delivered. And she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord has showed great mercy upon her. And they rejoiced in her. Right. So now we know uh, why her neighbors thought that. Because she was barren at first. You know, you see back then. When a woman would have, uh, when a woman um, wouldn't have children, it would be like a curse upon her. Like, oh, the Lord is not dealing with her because she she hasn't had no children. You know, it was a reproach for a woman to not have children. So they seen that she um, she you know she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, oh yeah, the Lord had mercy upon her. You know, so they was rejoicing with her, and it came to pass. That on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias, after the uh, name of his father. And his mother answered and said, "Not so, but he shall be called John." You see, the people didn't understand; they didn't know what happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we just read up, and now we know what happened, man. Okay, the angel Gabriel said, "Look, his name is gonna be John." You know. Which means, uh, which means gift. All right. Let's just double check because I don't want to, um, say something wrong. Okay. Okay. So this is the Greek, um, word for John. It comes from the Greek word, Ionis, Ionis. All right. Um, it means John Yahweh is a gracious giver. Okay, and let's go to the Hebrew of the Hebrew origin. Okay, let's click on that. Okay, yep, comes from the Hebrew word Yah Yahweh Ka Nun Yahweh Ka Nun. All right, and that's a uh, the root word of that is Yah 
Yahawa Yahawa Kha Na. Okay? Uh, Yahawa was graced. Okay? Let me see. Bestowed. Whom Yahweh bestowed. Okay? So the Lord bestowed him. Okay? Alright? Meaning he set him up, man. Okay? So there you go. So let's go back. And um, so it says, uh, And his mother answered, This is Elizabeth speaking, And said, Not so, but he shall, he, he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindreds that is called by, thy, by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. So they was like, okay, what, what, you, what you say? You know, what do you say, Zacharias? Because she's saying, John, we say it's going to be your name, man. What you, what you got to say about this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you got you to gotta picture this, man. This was, you know, this is our people we talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people are lively. So you got to put all this into your mind, you know, what was going on at that time, man. You know, like our apostles always say, you know, you got to put yourself there. All right. Bring these scriptures to life because they, they, they are. They are life. These are real stories that actually happen. You know. And uh, verse 63, it says, and he asked for a writing table. Right. Because he couldn't. He still couldn't speak. You know what I'm saying? He still couldn't speak because the angel because we read up above that the angel had uh, made him a mute, you know. Uh, and he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, his name is John. Because they, they already knew. The angel came and it scared the hell out of him. You know what I'm saying? His name is John. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? And they all marveled uh, at, the, at it. You know what I'm saying? Verse 64. And his mouth was opened immediately and his tongue loosed. And he spake and praised Yahweh. By shot, you know what I'm saying? So, so he he start praising the Lord like, oh, man. hey, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it was it was a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? All right. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these things were noised abroad throughout the hill of the country of Judea. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you know, after that point. It was like, oh, man, did you hear about what happened to Elizabeth and Zacharias, man? The angel came and visited him, right? You know what I'm saying? In the temple. And, you know, so you just got to, you got to picture it, man. It's like it. You got to, uh, you got to picture it, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, man, you know, I'm picturing it right now. So all the, all the people in Judea, all our people, they knew about it, you know, and it was, and it was rumors, Okay. And all and all they that heard them laid them up in, in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord is with him. You see? Okay? And his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up the horn of salvation in the house of uh, house of his servant David. Okay? As he as he spake by the mouth of his pro holy prophets, which have been since the uh, beginning of the world, since the world began. Okay, so that was that was pretty much it on that. It just gives you the uh, the backdrop on um, John the Baptist's birth. Okay, and um, you know basically, um, you know what I'm saying how how it happened, man. You know what? It wasn't just no regular thing, man. Okay, an angel of the Lord had to intervene. You know what I'm saying and, and let his parents know the deal. Okay, so let's go back to uh, let's go to John now, man. Okay, John one, and uh, I'm gonna start at six, and then I'm gonna jump to the third chapter. Okay. All right. So this is John one and six. It says there was a man sent from sent from Yahweh, whose name was John. You see, so he was sent. You know what I'm saying? He was sent to be the forerunner, okay, of, of Yahweh Shai, man, you know? So let's go to the third chapter. 
Matter of fact, what does it say after that? Okay, let's let's read a little bit down. It says that the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, to bear witness of the light. Okay, and that light being Yahweh Shai, that all men through him might believe. Right, talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. You know, so he was sent to be a witness. All right, of Yahweh Shai. All right. So he, he, the Lord already had his his lot set up and, and planted what he was supposed to do. You know, was it was it meant for John to be a, a disciple? It was it wasn't meant for him to do that. You know, his lot was something different. Okay, you know what I'm saying? After he said he must uh, he must increase, I, I must decrease. Do you know what happened to John after that, man? You know he was he, he got put in uh to jail he got put in the jail, all right? And beheaded. Okay? And Yahweh Shai spoke about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the apostle Gabar said, don't you think that uh Yahweh Shai after that happened to him, Yahweh Shai would have been like, yeah, John was doing his own thing. That's why it happened to that to that boy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he didn't say that, man. You know, he he reverenced John. You know? So that was that was pretty much it on that. So let's go to John 3 and 27. And we can end it out on this. I start at 26. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizes, and all men come to him. Right, so this is talking about Yahweh Shai, right? They were talking about Yahweh Shai talking to John. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, John uh, baptized uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai uh, for prophecy to be fulfilled. You know? And so the people coming to him saying, Look, man, uh, John, he over there baptizing people like how you was, and all men is coming unto him. Right? This is what John answered. And said, A man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear witness, bear me witness that I said I am not the Messiah, but that I am sent before him. OK, let's read that in the NLT. You yourselves know how plainly I told you I am not the Messiah. All right. So John was made that very clear. I am only here to prepare the way for him. And that was John's mission. man. OK, how these dudes can't see that. They tell you that in Malachi, man. All right, Malachi four, man, he came to uh, uh, prepare the way of the Lord, man. Turn the hearts of the fathers uh, to the children, and children to the fathers. You know, oh, yeah, roughly yeah, paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He that he that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This is my joy, therefore is fulfilled. Let's read that in the NLT, man. All right, it says, is the bride, it is the bridegroom who marries the bride, and the best man is simply glad to stand with him. Okay? And he calling himself the best man, you know? And hear his vows. Therefore, I am filled with joy at his success. So John the Baptist was, was happy. Okay, he was rejoicing. Because he knew that the Messiah was there on the scene, man. You know? He must increase, but I must decrease. Okay? So he knew that Yahweh Shai, he was telling the people, because you because you had John, John had uh, disciples. He had followers. But he was telling, look, his followers, like, look, he must increase and I must decrease. Okay? You know? So what is these guys talking about, man? You know? They just err not knowing the scripts. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is earthly, he that is of earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all, man. He talking about Yahweh Shai, man. So John already knew what's up, man. 
You know what I'm saying? So yes, he was he was a man of the Lord. Okay, he was a prophet, man. Okay. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, just going into going into his uh, his birth alone lets you know that John wasn't a regular man. You know what I'm saying? Going into his, his birth, man, because an angel of the Lord came and visited his parents. All right. So yeah, brothers could um, you know what I'm saying? Could go to BibleStudyTools.com. You know what I'm saying? And uh, read read on John the Baptist. It, it, it got a lot of good scriptures here. You know what I'm saying? But this was just, you know, we could keep going, but this is just, you know what I'm saying, just a little backdrop, you know? So, yeah, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto you, brothers out there. You know, we give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, by Shai, by Hashem, by Kakodash. I'm going to say, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh, Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh, Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh, Shai. God bonds to the apostles of Great Mills on time of this word. Mashallah, I'm all you brothers out there that's teaching this one truth and sincere. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.